did on the word love, which you can see on this file folder that I did in the Art of Observation class with Heidi Swap over at Big Picture Classes. Using my Silhouette Cameo and the Silhouette Studio software. So I thought I'd walk you through this quick tutorial if you want to cut out your own handwriting. Here is the way I did it. The first thing I did was take a piece of white regular printer paper and I wrote the word love with a black medium tip sharpie. You're going to have better luck cutting your handwriting if you use a medium tip and a dark color. Uh, something that's fine is going to be very hard to cut out and to get the Silhouette Studio software to read the lines. So use a medium tip pen, write your word or words, whatever you want to cut out, and scan it into your computer and save it as a JPEG a JPEG file or a PDF file will work just as well. What I like to do is scan it, save it to my desktop, which is, you can see my love right here that I wrote. That's the actual file that I use to create this. And then you're going to open your Silhouette Studio software. I don't know if you are aware or not that you can open a file. You can obviously use file open and go through and find it. Or if it's on your desktop, which is what I like to do when I'm creating with the software, just drag it over to your workspace. And you can see that came in really big. It's not a problem. We just click on it. We'll go to our alignment window, our scale window. And we're going to change this to eight and a half by 11. Click apply. There we go. I'm going to rotate it. If you hold your shift key, it'll rotate it exactly 45 degrees. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I don't want it nearly that big, but we'll scale it down. And there you have it. Looks about like the one I used on my folder. The next thing you're going to do is go to your trace window, select trace area, draw a box around the word love, you can see that it looks pretty good in yellow, but there are some black specks in there. So to correct that, we need to uncheck the high pass filter and move the threshold up till we get nice solid yellow lines. And you can see the higher I go, the thicker they get. I would like to retain as much detail as I can. So I'm gonna go about 90, 6%. Once that's selected, you want to select the top option in the trace window. If you select the trace outer edge, you're not going to get these circles cut out and the loops. So you want to select the top one. And once you've done that, you can drag this off. We don't need that. And here is your cut file. Let's select the scissors and make sure that the cut lines are there. They are. Once you have it, uh, the size you want, you can at this point, if you wanted to make it bigger, you can. You can still scale it, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you'd like. You're going to go to your page tools, use printer setting. I have it set on eight and a half by eleven in portrait. I have my cutting mat revealed. If you can't see your cutting mat and you you want to, you just slide this slider right here. I like to do that because then I can see exactly how big of a piece of paper I need. And place it on your mat accordingly or wherever you want to cut. And this is telling me that I need to place my piece of paper, whatever color I'm going to cut this out in, I need to place it one square over. And this is 3.495 inches by 4.5. So I just need a piece of paper a little bit bigger than that. And then I can place that on my mat, load my mat, send it to the silhouette, check your settings. I chose pat pattern paper, medium weight, 65 pound, and that's what I usually use if I'm cutting, uh, say, stamping up solid cardstock. That seems to work pretty well. Now we'll make your blade setting at 3, your speed at 5, and the thickness at 30. You need to change your blade or if you haven't already. 
and then you'll just cut it out and that's all there is to it. And by the way, my Silhouette Studio software today had an update and did you notice all this new, the new options up here? There's some fun stuff coming it looks like. Uh, the options are now pattern paper, glittered flock paper, textured cardstock, glitter cardstock, the vinyl, which has been there, the heat transfer, the flock heat transfer, double-sided adhesive, adhesive magnet paper, printable magnet sheet, printable foil, I know that's new, printable white sticker paper, temporary tattoo paper, fabric cotton print, cotton canvas, printable heat transfer material, rhinestone template material, print paper, cover stock, and silhouette sketch pens. So there's some new stuff up there. I, I just noticed that today when I went to choose my paper. So I can't wait to see what they've got coming out. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at lauriestory.com. There's an email link on there. Or if there's something specific you would like to see a tutorial on using the Silhouette Cameo or Photoshop, send me a note and I'd be happy to make a tutorial for you. Thank you. Have a great day.